Yesterday, you guys might remember, we covered a story about a TikTok, a Marine. Let's remember this for a second. A Marine whose TikTok went viral for hiring the Island Boys to make a, a appeal on his behalf to his command while he went through some NJP stuff. And I posted that on the TikTok. And would you believe, can you believe that through TikTok, right now joining me live is Sergeant Vasquez from that TikTok. Sergeant Vasquez, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I cannot. You, I'm great. Thank you so much. I can't believe through the magic of the internet that uh, that it brought us together. And it started with some comments. I don't know how you saw it. Maybe somebody tagged you. Like, you're the guy from that Island Boys video that they're talking about. But can we start with, with just clearing up one thing? What branch of the military are you in? <laughs> I'm in the army. You're in the, he's a soldier, you know, like that old, he's a Marine video. Like they totally, and let me bounce over here really quick. So people are looking right now on their screen at the article that we covered yesterday, which is Marine Sergeant pays Island boys to beg his commander for forgiveness. And they got this totally wrong. Um, but really quick, I want to show everyone and, and you'll hear this too. I don't know how many times you've heard this or have been made to hear this. But really quick, let's uh, let's just play that for anybody who didn't hear it yesterday. This is the video that has gone viral uh, in regards to your status right now. What's going on with you? It's playing right now. Awesome. Do not kick Sergeant Vasquez out because he's an island boy. Oh, I know he got his DUI, but give him a second chance. There's always room for a second chance. He messed up the first time. He will all prove himself. He will do better. Maybe that was straight in him. Oh, yeah. Don't kick Sergeant Vasquez out because he's the island boy. And he just does positive stuff. So I know he's going to make it to the top. He's awesome. Awesome. His name go by Vasquez. He's going to make it, y'all. Don't kick him out because you're going to all right. I mean, what walk <laughs> us through? I mean, what happened? Like, how did we how did we get here? Alrighty. So, um, <clears throat> I did not want it to go viral <laughs> in any way. So, uh, I was on leave, uh, starting my leave, and then, um, yeah, I was uh I was watching these videos on TikTok and I'm like, man, these these Island Boy guys are really popping off. And then I was just like finding like all their videos like pretty hilarious. And I saw that they do like cameo. So I was curious and I was like, okay, um I'm gonna go on cameo. And then it was like two hundred bucks for a video. And I'm like, hmm, should I invest two hundred bucks in this video? <laughs> so at first I was like Man, you know what? Like, I think I think my team, like my command, would like some of them will find this really funny, you know, because I know they've been uh, stressed out with my situation and stuff. And I yeah. was like, man, maybe maybe I can make their day with a video. So um, I went and purchased a video, and then uh, I sent it to my team. Uh, we have like a little group chat and stuff, and I sent it out. And they were all laughing. They didn't believe it. They were all like making memes and all that. And then a um, couple, not even like one day passes. And then I get tagged on a video and people are calling me, blowing up my phone. And I'm like, whoa, what's, what's going on? And they're like, your video's on the internet. And I'm like, my video's on the internet. And they tagged me on this post. And it was this one guy, uh, he was like saying that he was in my battalion and that uh, he had posted the video and this and that, that I had he wrote that I paid ten thousand dollars for uh basically what do you call it ten thousand dollars for for the island boys I was like oh, okay first wow. of all we don't even make that much <laughs> no I'll give ten thousand dollars to my daughters but, uh, yeah definitely so uh I saw the video and I was like oh my god no 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 so um, then I, I saw it on TikTok. I saw it on Reddit. It went viral, like, all over the place. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's the story, too, on how it got, uh, how it got out there. We had, we had checked it out yesterday, and we had kind of a, a chuckle at it. Not at you, but at the Island Boys in general and just the yeah. phenomenon that they've become, which is there's no other way to – there's no better word for it than phenomenon – you know, when it came to the TikTok that 
when I posted it last night and, and now we're talking today, I want to show the audience something else, which is uh, you have had some people stick up for you big time. There's on my screen right now what the audience is seeing <laughs> is uh, is a comment. The comment says, uh, let's see, let me pull it up here and make sure I can read it. So the comment says, Sergeant Vasquez is a true national hero. This man <laughs> saved me from a burning building. I hope the commander sees this comment. Somebody else said, Sergeant Vasquez once saved my pet dog, Brutus, from a tree in the park. A better man I've never met. I hope his leadership reads this. <laughs> uh, is that is that just, uh, what is that? Is that, are those true? No, those are not true, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I definitely love the support. Definitely. Um, yeah, I read some of the comments. Uh, man, that is that is hilarious. That really like I read those comments. It really made my day. Um, a lot of love. But I, I do want to like encourage people like in a sense like the video um, wasn't to get out of anything. You know, um, I'm actually on this podcast because like I want to let like all the soldiers know like, man, it is so simple to call your commander, your NCO. And as you said before, to call the hotline, like they have a hotline is 24 hours is on the weekend. Don't get in trouble. It's, it's so simple. You know, there's helps out there. Your command is there, you know, and even if you don't find your leadership, the best, you know, there's programs out there and people can actually help you, you know, to avoid these type of situations. You know, I, I did the video for like giggles and laughs, but um, it is a serious matter in the army, you know, and people do die over this type of situations. But I did want to bring that out there because it's a, uh, it is something serious. And, uh, you know, I just want to encourage everyone, you know, I thought like, Hey, you know, I'll be fine. I have a tight tolerance. I'm not going to get caught. No, trust me. You will get caught. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but eventually, you know, Hey, I really appreciate you saying that. That that's that's big to say, you know, when you're going through something yeah. like this and admitting, you know, kind of what happened and I think there well there's no question, there's no question that what you just said will resonate and be relatable to a, to a lot of people because it's obviously stuff that anybody who's ever did any time in the fleet in the military, the fleet or the I don't know what the army calls the basically being out in the actual army um, has seen people get DUIs hopefully has not lost anybody to a, a drinking and driving incident or seen anybody end up in prison. I personally know two people who've done years in prison over uh, drinking and driving accidents that they've caused and seen how it affects their lives. And I, I very adamantly speak out against drinking and driving. I, I guess you, I, I mm -hmm. think you must have seen my comments on it because, um, you know, there are lots of options. But it's it's in those moments where you're right on the edge, right? It's those times where you've had a couple beers, something like that. And you're like, I, I believe that I'm fine. And you truly do. And then you hop in the car and it's some other random thing that happens. You don't stop long enough at a stop sign. Blinkers not working or something like that. And then there you go. You find yourself like, holy shit, is this really happening to me right now? Am I really getting a DUI? You know, did you, was that like a moment for you? Yeah. Like, um, <clears throat> so like with my command there, they are like, very strict on that and they do a safety brief you know um unfortunately we had uh two soldiers pass away um to a similar situation which i'm not going to elaborate on but sure. um yeah that that stuff has happened and uh, i remember just like hearing the briefs hearing the briefs and then like people are you know they're just like trying to have fun go to the you know the shop bed on the weekend grab their stuff and uh, I remember, you know, my commander's words like that was in my head the whole time when I'm looking at like the MP lights and everything. I didn't crash my car or anything. Thank God. Um, I had stopped uh, my car. But, um, yeah, definitely is something that, you know, like I look back and I was like, man, I, I really could have done this different. Like, why did I do that? You know, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm paying the consequences for it now, but um the other thing I also like would like to tell soldiers is, man, no matter what, if you're going through an article 15, whatever it is, stay motivated, you know, like be happy, even like watch those videos with the Island boys, whatever it is, like stay motivated. Cause as soon as you lose that motivation, that morale, they see you down or depressed, you don't want to work. You know, you're, you're just, you're giving up, you know, you're giving up on something that you want to do. 
you know, everybody has their reasons for joining, but I, I love my job. You know, I love my career and um, yeah, it's just uh, stay motivated, you know, like whatever, whatever you did, whatever it is, you know, people are going to look down on you, this and that, but there's a lot of leaders out there, you know, then you can talk to the seniors that have been through certain stuff and they have their ranks for a reason. You know, they went through so much stuff. Obviously they're not going to share it unless they want to share it personally with you. But uh, I met a couple, I met a couple and uh, they motivated me and I'm still, I'm still happy, you know, and I'm still continuing. So yeah. Good for you. Good for you. What is your, what's your MOS? What's your job? Maybe in play, maybe. So, uh, uh, I'm a 92 alpha. I'm supply. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hey, every job matters. You know, supply is <laughs> yeah, a, a super important job. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Super busy. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I feel like I work at Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, has your, has your commander seen the video? Yes. Yes. So, um, uh, she, she did see it. Um, I'm not going to post her reaction. <laughs> I'm going to keep it super confidential. Uh, I don't have her consent in any way. Sure. 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 You know, letting, yeah. So, um, yeah, she did see it. She did see it. Um, I can only say like, you know, my, uh, my battle buddies, they were laughing at it. You know, they were laughing at it for sure. Yeah. And, yeah. um, and you know, maybe one more question before I, before I let you go and, and I'll give you an opportunity to say anything you want to say is, uh, can you share what, what, what's your current status with the army? How many years have you been in and, and what's your career looking like right now? So I've been in five years already. Um, my first duty station was actually Italy. I was uh, airborne. Oh, nice. 173rd. Nice, oh, yeah. nice. Um, from there, uh, I've been here in Hawaii for about a year now. Okay. Yeah. And yep. so it's, it's been, uh, it's been pretty good so far. And is the, are, are you still waiting to find out what's going to end up happening with this whole, the DUI situation? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, just still waiting on statuses and stuff, um, from like the command and all that stuff. So, yeah. All right. Well, I, uh, I gotta tell you, it's been a pleasure to meet you. And, um, yeah, it's I, a pleasure. Like, this is awesome. Be like being in your podcast. I have seen you in my for you page before. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I'm here. I'm, I'm, you know, and I'm here to talk. I'm here to talk to people, you know, the conversations like this and getting to know the real people and real stories is, is why I do this. And so, you know, it's been, it's been a pleasure. And I think l looking at the comments here, everyone else enjoys it too. And I hope that this reflects credit upon you as you might see in an award summary or something, but honestly, you seem like a great guy and I wish you nothing but the best now that, um, now that I've gotten to connect with you. Alrighty, man. Thank you very much. And thank you for everyone with the positive comments and all that, even the negative one, but yeah, God bless you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you. That comment section. All right. We'll let you go. <laughs> um, you have a great day and, uh, and I look forward to talking to you soon, my friend. All righty, man. Take care. Bye bye. All right. I mean, can you believe, can you, let me end the Zoom call over here. Can you believe that we made that connection via the, the uh, TikTok, the Tiki Taki? How crazy is that? How awesome is that? You guys, how awesome is that? He found the TikTok, his buddies did, came to advocate on his behalf, and we got to get him on here and see the story behind the story, which you know, I do this because I want to I want to do the right thing. And and I hope that uh, that d does some service for him. That's awesome. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching that clip from our live show. We're live right here on YouTube Sunday through Thursday, 1800 Pacific Standard Time. If you want, come on by, join the chat. I'd love to hear from you. If you like that video and you want to see more, consider checking out this video right here or subscribing to the channel with this button right here. I look forward to talking to you really soon. I'm out for now.